All right, good afternoon. This is Coach Big B of Deep Dish Football. That comment that we report is week nine. Uh, Deep Dish Football game of the week is voted by you, the fans, is Glenwood Chatham at Rochester. This is the opening remarks. Um, tomorrow, roster uh, schedule so far. After that, coaching points, magic numbers, and going for the whole game and everything else. This is just opening remarks. Haven't seen game film. Haven't seen any of the games as yet. We'll watch them today. Um, watched a little bit yesterday, but not that much. <laughs> so let's get started. Rochester, uh, their only loss, of course, uh, was to Sacred Heart Griffin, and it was a very, very tough loss. Uh, but it's the Leonard Bowl. It's a well-known, it's a huge game. Um, and you, the loss sort of got Rochester back on track. As you can say, yes, it was a loss, but they got more focused, and I think that they're playing good football right now. Glenwood Chatham. Now, this is what I'm going to say about Glenwood Chatham. Uh, Lee Han, Lee, Lee Nan, Lee, uh, the quarterback, who I saw, I saw his game last year uh, on video. He has been probably one of the most progressive quarterbacks out of that 2020 class. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the uh, progress that he has made, his reads, his patience. And when you have a high school quarterback that's patient, that makes for a good offense. And Glenwood Chatham does. And those kids out of Glenwood Chatham, all I gotta say is that they're disciplined kids, play disciplined football. And I've met, I think about six or seven of those Glenwood Chatham kids. And they're just basically class kids, high character kids, just like the Rochester kids. But again, the Central State Eight, just a group of high character class kids, and just that area. Basically, it's just a slice of football heaven in the state of Illinois. So, can't wait. Glenwood Chatham versus Rochester. I think the big thing, personally, will be the battle up front of the Rochester offensive line and the uh, Glenwood Chatham defensive line. Uh, be interesting to see what Coach Nelly does with that offensive line. Another thing would be also too, uh, Coach Buker. Defense coordinator for Rochester, how he how he handles that pistol offense of um, Glenwood Chatham. Very impressed with the running back. Um, good group of tight ends out of uh, Glenwood Chatham that I think that a lot of people need to be talking a little bit more about. Um, again, Coach uh, Coach Hay has done a wonderful job of Glenwood Chatham, and of course everyone knows about Derek Leonard. It just the, the guy's the best in the state of Illinois, no doubt about it. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to turn to a low-scoring game in the first quarter, second quarter, we're going to start seeing some scoring. Um, I do think that um, Glenwood Chatham's defense has got a, has a very underrated secondary. Their secondary does a good job of reads, good hip work, and definitely good job of tracing the wide receiver. Uh, but it's going to be a good game. I'll go through everything tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. Should be a fun thing, and then I'll be there Friday night as Glenwood Chatham battles Rochester for the Central State 8 Championship. It's going to be a big game at Rochester, so should be fun. Again, if you have any questions, please follow Coach Big Pete and uh, Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Uh, what else was I going to say? Deep Dish Football Live is Wednesday at 8 p.m. Going to talk about the game. Thursday, 8 p.m., going to be talking about the game. Going to be in Springfield live broadcasting for the Deep Dish Football Live on Thursday in Springfield. And on Saturday's breakfast of Coach Big Pete. And Saturday night is the playoff pairing show at 10 o'clock with Coach Big Pete on Deep Dish Football uh, Live. So it should be a fun time. And uh, let's get ready, get started. This is going to be a good uh, game week. Uh, well, last week of IHSA football. And I can't wait to see um, some uh, nice faces on uh, Friday night. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. And if I, and by the way, if this week, if I mispronounce any names, which I will, I guarantee you I will. I guarantee you I will. I do sincerely apologize. I do sincerely apologize. All right. Thank you so much and have a lovely day.